Saturday, June 4, 2016. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1991 Volkswagen van again. Uh, I've owned this van since 2003, and uh, one of the first things I actually did was I swapped out the factory single tone horn for a dual tone horn out of a Mercedes 123 body. Uh, there was no particular reason other than I had a Mercedes at the time and I preferred the sound of that horn to this one here. Oddly enough I looked in the owner's manual to check the fuse information and it, um, it lists horn for the Vanagon as dual tone horn. So maybe it was offered with one in Europe, but anyhow. I installed the Mercedes horn and it never sounded quite right. Um, sounded weaker and uh, once or twice over the years I switched out the uh, the actual horns for uh, other known good units from other Mercedes and uh, I never saw any improvement. Eventually uh, I realized that I needed to add a relay to the circuit which is what I'm going to be doing today. Now you know, 13 years later I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, when I first learned about this, I had no idea what relays were, how to add one to a circuit, and I'm not going to be going into too much detail today. Uh, you know, I'll uh, give you the, the bare basics on the wiring and I'll show you the circuit diagram, but uh, first let me show you uh, what this horn sounds like now. So certainly not bad, but uh, definitely not correct. Let me show you what the uh, horn sounds like uh, in the Mercedes. So as you hear, they are not identical. And uh, everything I've read, everybody I've talked to says that um, it's just due to the factory circuit. I don't know enough about uh, electrical circuits to really explain what's happening except that the uh, horns really just basically aren't getting full power. Uh, I certainly know how to install the relay and I'll show you a little bit about that. So uh, if you just want to give me a moment I need to get the van up onto ramps so I can access the underside where the horn is. So apologies I'm off the tripod I'm under the van. <laughs> Here you can see the dual tone horn hooked up to the original bracket. Now, here is the original cable that went to the Volkswagen horn, and I split it off here to go to the two Mercedes horns. I took the looks like I originally took the wiring harnesses from the uh, Mercedes donor car. So, uh, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, run a relay between the factory wiring and the horns. Essentially that uh, power cable here is going to be going to the relay instead and uh, the horns themselves are actually going to be getting power directly from the battery. What I bought is an SPST which means single pole single throw relay and uh, I'm going to show you the. Uh, I'm going to show you a diagram of the circuit. But as you know, relays and relay holders uh, differ. It's not going to make too much sense for me to show you too much detail on how this is hooked up. But I'll give you the brief rundown, and uh, then I'll show you the relay in action. Okay, I have everything hooked up kind of temporarily here. I actually just wanted to show you this uh, to show how everything is hooked up. Uh, I labeled the relay holder with the uh, terminal numbers. Uh, terminal 87 on the relay, which is this uh, blue wire here, goes to the factory horn positive wire. Uh, terminal 30, which is this red wire, goes directly to a uh, vehicle battery, and I ran a new wire for that, and I uh, put an inline fuse there. And once, you can, once again, you can see these are just temporary connections. I can make this more permanent. Um, 
Just wanted to make sure I was hooking, hooking everything up correctly. Now, terminal 86, which is this white wire, goes to the uh, factory horn positive wire, which is right here, this brown and blue one. And then the final wire, which is 85, the black wire, goes to the factory horn negative, which is the black and yellow. So, uh, this all works now. I'm actually not even sure if the horn's any louder or uh, if it sounds any, any different, but let me put the camera on the tripod and I will beep the horn for you. So there it is. All I really need to do now is clean up those connections. Uh, I gotta say, like I said, um, I actually expected the horn to sound a little different. Uh, wish I had something a little more definitive to show you, but that is how you hook up a relay and uh, for a horn. Some people may need to know how to do that. So this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.